Howdy, and welcome to Broken Tool Garage. This week is going to be a little bit different. We're going to be going down and visiting the uh, old storage shop. And uh, we kind of seen this before where I did the Herald 2.0 review. This is where Herald Original, the blue wreck truck, is at. So this shop is a little bit of history for me, and I just want to share a little bit of that and, and kind of what it looks like. This is the shop that... Um, was my dad's old shop. It's their old home place. So this is where I got started doing all my car stuff. So it's kind of neat. And I'm going back and visiting that and trying to upkeep that and, and keep it pretty much the way it was when I grew up there and, and worked on cars and everything. So anyways, that's, that's why it's in a little, a little bit darker. It's not nice like this shop. But like I said, I just kind of wanted to share that and do something a little bit different this week. There's Things that I'm kind of working on right now, some background stuff that's going on with, you know, for Herald 2.0, I've got Herald there. I also have uh, my engines over there too, so you'll see some of the engines that I'm planning on bringing to the channel and doing some good engine builds and, well, uh, automotive builds, because that's kind of what I do here, right? All right, well, hope you enjoy that. Leave a comment if you kind of like this stuff right here, and uh, we'll, we'll see where we go from there. So let's just get started. Three eighteen, Magnum three eighteen, three o two, three eighteen, three eighty three, big block. So uh, apparently, I need to figure out how to build three eighteens and put them in vehicles and make them run good for uh, a good budget price. So yeah, yeah, lots of stuff to do for sure, but you gotta get certain things out. Uh, I got some repair work to do. If you look right there, that's not a window, that's a hole. Uh, so squirrels and stuff has been has been getting in, we look around. So that's one of my winter projects is, daylight through there is finish sealing this up like kind of what I did here with the house wrap and then put stuff on the outside. Finish doing that in a shop so that it keeps buggers and stuff out that's going to eat wires and, and uh, poop everywhere. Rats and squirrels and stuff. I mean, we had all this cleaned up not that long ago, and it didn't take six months, and they're already back in here doing this stuff. So, uh, yeah, pest control. Oh. Anyways, yeah, I got this project to finish gutting so that I can get it outside. So what's left on here is pull the dash and wire and harness because that was all good. Uh probably pull the seat it needs some rip holstery done on it but this is part of what i want to do since this is herald original is herald 2.0 i want to get all these things and convert that truck to the newer style 88 style stuff right there so uh i didn't get the engine pulled out today oh there we go uh didn't get the engine pulled out today but i do have the little transmission uh dolly uh jack thing the manual one to go up underneath the transmission to hold it in place because it's, it's completely broke away from the engine but everything's jammed up right now so it, it i can't drop the transmission i have to pull the engine out uh so that's that's how mangled that is but that's not a today thing that's going to be uh some other day all right back at the other shop here about to get it kind of opened up and aired out a little bit i'm not down here a lot uh, but, um, this is where we got on, uh, Harold right here. So, I'm going to have to pull the cab off in order to get the, the engine out. Uh, but, uh, still a lot of good parts in here. I'm going to pull this carpet out. Uh, I know we're a little dark now. It looks like we're good. Anyways, just a couple little things to do. Tidy that up, and then we're ready to pull the, get the cab off. Just roll it over, you know. Looks like I might have to work on some of this stuff here loosen that up uh probably get that door off might make it a little easier but anyways uh yeah steering and call them out hey check this out it hit so hard the shaft here it actually ripped it in half at the steering column 
Anyways, hey, there's that 351 right there. Let's get some lights turned on. Not super bright lights. I got to warm up. That's the uh, old fluoresce floor, 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 floor. <laughs> Anyways, yeah, some um, three-speed overdrive. That's four-speed transmissions. Looks like one, two. I got four of those. Four of those. Uh, that's the old ball and trunnion one right there. Anyways, yeah, here's that 351. All right, so what I wanted to show you is something that's coming up. So what I've done, this is uh, the engine that was in the Ram Charger. It's a rebuilt 318 that I did uh, a number of years ago. So uh, I'm just going to unbag that. So anyways, what I did, this is just a stock rebuild. So these are just regular stock pistons there. Can't see that. I don't have a... I don't have all my good lights. Hmm. I can... It's the the typical camera thing where I can see it perfectly fine, but the camera can't figure out what it is. So, let's see if we can get a little... No, well, this has been a huge pain in the butt. So, anyways. Uh, yeah, just a stock rebuild. This is the 318 that has the roller cam capable. Actually, it came with a roller cam. I was running it without a roller cam for a little bit in there. Uh, because I wanted a hopped up cam. But anyways, this is going to be coming up. Um, it got taken out because the transmission, the transmission was actually gave out. Uh, so that's why I pulled the engine and it's in the Ram Charger at one point. Um, and then, well, now the Ram Charger has slant six in it. But anyways, um, one of the things I'm going to be doing is rebuilding that and doing some stock stuff on there and see what how much power I can get for a pretty budget. So I'm gonna be using the intake manifold on here that's that 340 intake manifold. And for heads, actually this uh, Speedmaster heads, that's what I was going to use on there. But then I got to thinking, you know, I've been watching what's uh, been going on with Mission Impossible and I think, you look down in there, I have a set of those swirl port heads buried down in there. So I think I'm going to go through and use those. Port them out. If I don't get what I want out of them, then I, I got the aluminum heads. They'll definitely flow good. So that's kind of the plan there is take uh, what has been put out there in uh, Mission Impossible uh, project and take what I, uh, I feel comfortable doing and apply that. Yeah, we'll see that 318 eventually. Um, you know, once we get it out, we'll, we'll get it out at the other shop and has a pretty good look at it. Yeah, here's, here's some carburetors back in there. So there's the BBD. I uh, don't know what that one is, but I'm gonna dig all these out and see what I got because they're just kind of sitting out here. You know, see if see what's good, what's not good, and that'll be part of my cleanup effort. As you can see, there's just it, it needs help over in here. Uh, that's a 400 big block Mopar, by the way. Oh, there's my bucket. So here is a I don't know what that one is. And these are little hollies right here. Yeah, so they kind of uh, um, some of this ain't going to be savable. This is a, I think that might be a version of a BBD. I don't know. That's going to be the fun part. Dig through. Oh, hey, look at that. That's the one that they're using for um, the uh, Mission Impossible. A little junky two barrel <laughs> manifold. See, that had a two barrel on it. And I'm wondering if I don't have a big block uh, carburetor, two bar carburetor, that might be able to help those guys out. Ooh. Oh, see, there's some slant six, two barrel slant six part right there. So yeah, lots of little just oddball goodies, but I, I want to start going through this stuff and what's good, what's bad. But anyways, that's what I'm doing today. On Saturday, then I'll be back 
at the shop. Yeah. And just a lot of this is just falling into disrepair. Uh, so this this is kind of my other because <laughs> I don't have enough to do. Uh, but you know what? Matter of fact, I am going to show y'all something while I'm here. <laughs> 